Next point being is that he comes from one class. Right, and I'm I'm still you know I got my my fresh clean gi uh, now. Yeah. He puts on his gi. We start and training, and next thing you know, not only does it stink, oh, it stinks. It doesn't stink that no, but it's no, wet. No, no. It's like sweaty. Like as soon as he touches it, oh my gosh, it's all wet. Yeah, nasty. that's so bad, dude. <laughs> that's kind of like all right. You know what? I, I that, a good analogy for it is like if you're if it, you wake up and you want to go swimming in the pool and it's kind of cool outside. It's like, do you jump right in and deal with that horrible exactly. freezing cold, exactly. or do you walk in through the steps? You mean the toes? Like one the at toes? a time. Yeah, one at a time. You feel it out. Because uh, if you're going, if you look at the guy and he's completely soaking wet, and you decide to roll with him, or if you agree to roll with him, like you're jumping in the deep end right away. Yeah, I you agree. Know? It's the same. You know, thing. you kind of like you're pissing yourself off. In that regard. At the very least, he, he, comes, he, he comes from previous training all the time. He trains twice a day. Me too. Whatever, whatever you're saying, you know you do the no, same. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, I'm train, just saying. It's because training it's more than I, once. I it's a I, different thing. We know we're training at a different gym, and then we meet to train more. The, the only thing is that I don't probably. I'm not gonna like use three train. two gis in the same day. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a gi here and a gi. <laughs> yeah, but have I you ever gone with somebody who smells horrible? Have you ever had to deal with like a what partner do you do? where you're like, Jesus, dude, this is really tough. Like, I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna gas tap. And it I don't tends mean to I'm happen tired. more often in the gi class. <laughs> in the gi class, <laughs> more often. But like here, a lot of the no gear is happening too. Uh, no, yeah, we train that. here, but mostly in the gi. The gi, the most thing is the guys put the gi on in your inside the car and forget there. Yes. Or and then they use it again, or they just do it. They just use two twice a week, just as a normal thing. It's just like okay, just I use it I'll Tuesday to put it to, yeah. to, to dry to wet uh, like. Just to get it dry. Oh, you make the Brazilian, the Brazilian air dry. Is I the, hate that. I hate that. Is the BAD? Is the is the bad? Bad. <laughs> the BAD. Bad. Brazilian hair dry. <laughs> yes. You got it? Yes. Where you? Wait, I'm sure if I see those pictures, where you just put them like on the rail, yeah. or you put them on the table outside. Yeah, I do my laundry. Yeah. When it happens, it was part of the thing. Oh man, but, my joints. But like, dude. it's like you know what it is too. It's like this has nothing to do with you, but it's like. Like a good shinigami. No, it's like the people, around. the people that are sick, but you don't only have to be sick. You could like have like 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 ringworm and like you know, going back to, to what we were talking about, ringworm and uh and like herpes or like uh staff or anything like that. And you're still on the mats, like what are you doing on the mats? You know, take care of your team, get off the mats. Take if somebody a break. has ringworm and they're on the mat, that's horrible. Uh, you know, take care of your team, get off the mats. You know, take care of your friends or something because you don't want your the, the your people that you're competing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because it happens. You yeah, know it that happen. it's just it's just whatever. It's part of the game. But don't be on the mat and and like give your you know. Do the, you guys have that foam? I used to get like a when I was in high school. They had this giant uh, can that would spray this foam that you would put all over yourself before you go and 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 practice. And it was uh, antibacterial, but it was specifically developed to uh, fight, uh, I think, ringworm and maybe impetigo, or impetigo, or whatever it's called. But we were required to put it on everywhere. People would put it on their wrestling shoes, no, people would put it on their legs and body. I don't know about that. Yeah, I think more gyms should look into having a like a disinfection zone before you go in. Well, we, I know when I wrestled in college, we had that, that disinfection. We would, everybody would go to the trainers first. Everybody get a full body inspection. Yeah. Before you jump, you stepped on the mats. Right. Everybody. Are you gonna get the Ula BJJ juice? Ula BJJ juice? Yeah, because we're out. <laughs> are we, we out or are you just out by yourself? The acai for Ula BJJ. Bro! It's, we just have the best acai. Acai. They can be a future sponsor or some choo -choo. type of acai. Acai for company or something. The other one. Finish that. I'll uh, crack the last one. Whoa. I was like, Bijou. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Did you on period? Yeah. No, there are three downstairs. Oh, oh you put a couple you can put in the safe. You put a couple in the safe just in case. Oh, wait. We're on camera, dude. This is the cutting part, I guess. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> you guys are lame. Can't believe it. Bro, we've been like, how long have we been here? We've been here like for uh, forever already. Yeah, this is like a four-hour video, dude. Huh? It's, it's like been long. We can't post all of that. 
But then, did he even get shit. to a point where we're fucking do we even talking shit? Yo, we haven't even make gotten to. Yes, we have, dude. We're on we the bad hygiene part. We're almost yeah, done. Yeah, we didn't finish the Ronda Rousey part. So we didn't like, even. Well, no, we didn't he even. started talking about. He started you. talking about staff. You. He switched into staff. <laughs> I went to staff. Yeah, you, you just showed us his fucking. Oh. We're talking about Ronda Rousey's. Uh, um, How did I switch to staff? We didn't even get to know. Ronda Rousey talking smack. I totally, I totally forget. You showed us a picture of a fucking hole in somebody's fucking whatever. You're the one. And I'm like, and I'm like, I don't even know where to go from now. He's like, well, let's talk about Ronda Rousey later. This is more important. Let's talk about Ronda Rousey now, then, because I. Are we done with this? Ringworm, gross, bad. Don't roll the ringworm. No more. That's like the. uh, Okay, people were saying about Ronda Rousey. Gabi Garcia would use her as a. (laughs) As a what? No. We can't say say that. that. We can't say that. Uh, A D word. Sorry, but Gabby Garcia would wreck her. Yeah, keep it in imagination. Let tomorrow's make the Let imagination run with that one. So pretty much everybody talks about Gabby. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Uh, Kara Gracie. Another. There's a lot of commentary on it. I personally think. Hey, it's- a Ronda Rousey for versus a Michelle Nicolini. That sounds pretty interesting. Ooh. I think that's more in, uh, you know. A purely jujitsu, jujitsu competition. I'm sorry. Maybe MMA. She can like come up with those claims. But pure jujitsu, you know that jujitsu competition is not jujitsu MMA. Guys that only do jujitsu MMA go to this competition. What happens? They get, they get punched. Or they get oh, oh, their jujitsu oh. is average. It's like yeah, you know, okay. it's different. Get, right, because yeah, they their their jits is defensive, and uh, she probably could be. People a lot in MMA with her jiu-jitsu, but in jiu-jitsu, oh, jiu-jitsu. Is she a gold medalist? Uh, in judo? In judo? No, she's not gold. She's a bronze medalist. I think. Bronze medalist? I believe I so. she was gold. Wait, I would like to see. No, I would like to see. I want to double check that she one. She probably can be the majority. I know for sure she didn't win gold. She, she can okay. probably bronze do whatever she say, but in, I would like to see in jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu. Her. Jiu-jitsu. She could be like metamorphosis. I think she'd still be jiu-jitsu, fucking. Jiu-jitsu. That'd be I awesome. Not saying she'd lose, but that that would be a great man. It's pure jiu-jitsu. Your dits would. Be grappling, no gi. I mean, I mean, I've no seen, I've seen videos of I think a grappler's quest of like Ben Henderson. Uh, ben Hendricks, Henderson competes everywhere. Uh, the gi, Ashford, no gi. You know, yeah. I've, I've seen them like in grappler's test competition. They're like always in the finals or something of some sort. So they, you know, they could. I think the transfer over is always pretty legit. I think that the fact that they announced that. They might be bringing Metal Morris to the, the fight, fight pass. pass. I think it's awesome. It might be a way to connect um, the Jiu Jitsu fighters with the UFC or Ronda. I mean, everything is coming together, even with um, which other fighter that um, with Invicta. Because Invicta now is going to be also on Fight Pass. You know, Invicta Invicta fight oh, man, you know what? This, this kind of reminds me of a, a, a question that was brought up recently about uh, the effectiveness of. Jiu-Jitsu in MMA. Okay. Right, because uh, mm-hmm. a lot of wrestlers are coming in and smashing people in MMA and, and doing really well. And and, and they removed the best submission of the night. The yeah, submission out of the, of the night's gone, seat. right? Is this kind of like... Tear. <laughs> it's a teardrop. <laughs> Bro, I didn't fucking stop sweating. <laughs> 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 Bro, I gotta... Bro, you're competing in lightweight next week. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was really fun, but you know, like all the good things in life, we gotta. Must come yeah, everything must. <laughs> so, sadly, we have to say goodbye, guys. So, hasta mañana. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Right. I'm going to be just ages. <laughs> bro, <laughs> just bro, <roll> flow. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> you know what? We should just roll right now. Right on top of the stage. Right here. Just <laughs> roll right now, right here. I got seconds, man. <laughs> oh, man. Still want to fight, Brady. Okay, but I don't think we ever said Gabby Garcia. Ronda Rousey, who would you win? Who do you think would win? Gabby yeah. Garcia. In Jiu Jitsu only? Gabby Garcia. In, in MMA?
has Gabby Garcia ever taken a boxing class? Yeah, she, she, she. She's huge. I don't know, man. She's like she a giant. She trains, uh, she trains mixed martial arts as well. You think, Ronda so? Rousey, you think Gabby Garcia She's not an MMA fighter, but she trains in MMA. I think Ronda Rousey is incredible, man. That's she cannot so beat a 220 pound like, girl yeah, that matches yeah, other. Like, she's small. She's it's 100 fair, fucking. Man. It's like when the commentary 50. is like. Will she ever? Will she won't go up. Or uh, I think Dana White said something about uh, Cyborg not being able to go down. Look, look, his intro. Those fuckers are huge. I love it, dude. That's so awesome. That's so awesome, man. I would just move there just to have my kid born there for each other. That's just for so fucking, awesome. Just for the... Just for the haka. Yeah, man. yeah, just for the haka. Uh, just for what? It's so just bad. Just for the haka, man. For the haka? I would move there just to have my kid born there. Your kid? Alone? Kid. Alone. Alone, by himself. For the age. You're from New, uh, New you know, Zealand. I you want to do the I want to see in the UFC a dude who's They like do that dominant. in school, right? They do it yeah, in school. Yeah, they, they do that for their sports teams and all that stuff. Yeah, everybody's got their own haka. I want to see like a dude in the UFC like a champion, win fights, and right after he knocks somebody out, rather than like running over the cage and like, Bleh! like doing backflips and all that shit, I want to see him be like, you can you imagine if somebody was just like, boom, and afterwards they were just like this. I don't even see what the point It'd be terrifying. Well, that would be terrifying. Because that person has zero emotion whatsoever after they win, like the biggest fight. You actually hit me. <laughs> but I, like, I'm not like, just strength. Just, like, no, that was super <laughs> close though, yeah. I know. I felt, did he touch the nose? No, he yeah, he touched my lip and teeth. But, can you imagine though? Is like, it, is like, it, is like, it, like if somebody's in like a battle, right? And this dude comes along and it's like fifth round, he's like, boom! And rather than being happy at the end, he was just like this. He just walked away? Yeah, or he stood there, just fucking staring, like in the distance. He'd be the robot. There's uh, God. You know what I Gunnar mean? Gunnar like, Nelson does that. Gunnar Nelson. Gunnar Nelson. When he wins, he's just like. No, but even before he starts the fight, he's like. He fights, he's like. He wins, he's like. They like don't face. So I used to do that in wrestling. Have you seen Gunnar Nelson? When I would win, I would, I would just be like, I'm just gonna never give a shit. I don't like celebrating too much when I win, personally. Did you see my 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 uh, my highlight? Yeah. See my jiu jitsu highlight. No, so that's not more like what I mean. Just, not even that bad. So my jiu jitsu highlight. No. You see it? I, I, I celebrate a little bit and then maybe I just doing. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't help it because it's not your choice. It depends on. The, I think it depends on the. I think if it was like something like a world or ADC, I would be freaking. But sometimes it's not. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, but it's not even your choice, then. Oh, it's just, dude. You're you're fucking. Co you're, the people go there with you. Yeah. We'll, you we'll get, fucking you run up and pick you up on their shoulders. You don't have a choice. You can be up there like, yeah, or like put me down, but it doesn't matter. You're celebrating by proxy. But whenever I saw dudes like win. Fights or whatever, and just walk away like cold as fuck. I've been like, oh, the coolest. Shit. Yeah, I love it. That dude's bad ass.